Hello everybody and welcome to the Paper Book Light. My name is Laura Munoz and today's video is going to be a review in English so feel free to activate the subtitles in English and Spanish by clicking the gear down here. So today's review is going to be about a memoir that I talked to you about in the last video. If you haven't seen it yet just go here and you can have a look as well and it is this is going to her The Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor by Adam Kay. It is published by Picador and it's $16.99. This is the memoir of the author Adam Kay who was working for the NHS as a junior doctor. He chose the specialization of OBGYN, which is uh, obstetrician gynecologist. In these different diary entries you can see Adam's experiences in life, death, how he combined medicine with his social and romantic life, how he wanted and stability and also how he he lived different events such as the 2005 attacks in London. He explains on the footnotes the different medical jargon so you don't get lost and also you can become the king or queen of the pop keys. And towards the end you see why he quit medicine and then is this open letter to the Secretary of State for Health in which is a bit of a protest about the current situation of the NHS. So overall I really like this book. So it is 260 pages ready in the afternoon so you can see how good is this book. To me it was a roller coaster of emotions and I have to advise that it contains strong language and some um, descriptions, some graphic descriptions. So if you're a bit sensitive with these matters, just be careful. And I have to say that in my case, I connected really well with this book for a number of reasons. One, because of the type of sense of humor. The second one is because before I took my A levels and I, I studied media, which is a completely different thing, one of the options I had in mind was to get into med school and do precisely OBGYN. So it was really interesting to see that journey, but for a reason or another, I did not choose that career. And the third one is because at the time that I'm reading this book and I went out from the hospital thing and stuff, it made me realize like what is the current situations with the junior doctors, not only here but also like in Spain, that there are different matters happening right now. And to conclude, another positive thing of this book is like how he spoke out about mental health in the medicine sector. Um, I think it was a really brave thing from him to speak about the mental issues and the mental health and how medicine can be a really draining job, really stressful job with such a responsibility and really underpaid. I think this book brings you a different perspective on what it is to be a doctor, the behind the scenes, how they deal with life and death in an everyday basis. And if you want to know how the NHS works from an inside perspective, this book is definitely going to be for you. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, have a look to the other videos I have got here in my channel. Have a look to the other social media accounts that I'm putting you here, the Instagram and the Twitter to see what I'm up to. I am going to bring you some really huge surprises so stay tuned and greetings to Adam K. Get well soon and see you next week!